Hey there, here's how to connect your MacBook to an external display. This will allow you to use both displays or you can close the MacBook and just use the external display. There are a few caveats along the way and we'll cover them as we go along. First off, let's check what connections our MacBook has and also the monitor. If your MacBook has an HDMI connection, then you can use an HDMI cable like so and just connect that directly to your monitor. If your MacBook doesn't have an HDMI connection, it most likely has these USB-C ports. If that's the case, and your monitor also has a USB-C port, then you can use a USB-C type cable and connect directly from the MacBook to the monitor. If the monitor doesn't have a USB-C connection, we'll need to use a USB-C to HDMI adapter. And they come in a couple of different forms, one like this, and you can also get a dongle. And this is particularly useful because it also gives you some USB-C ports, which will allow you to plug in a keyboard and mouse, which will be useful a little bit later. I'll leave a link in the description. There are many different types at different price points, so have a look. Right, so we're going to use this for this example. I will connect the HDMI cable, like so, and this goes into the side of the laptop. At the back of the monitor, there is a port labeled HDMI. This will only fit into one hole. As you can see, the screens are now connected. And if you watch the arrow, you can see they are mirrored. Let's change that. We go up to the top left and click on the Apple logo and then system settings. Scroll down the left hand side here and go to displays. Over on the right, we have our external monitor and our built in display. Below this, we have use as, and it says mirror. Just a note here, if you plan on closing your Mac and only using the external monitor, we don't need to change this. But if you want to use two screens, click here and go to stop mirroring. On the display window, next we want to go to arrange. Click on arrange. And what we have are two representations of our monitors. Click on one and you get an outline so you know that this is the external monitor. The second one is my MacBook. So we want to position these in relation to each other. My MacBook is just below my main screen so I shall place it like that. Click done. And now I can pass my mouse down and up. And you place your monitor in relation to your screen. Okay, we have the two displays working together. Now, if we want to close the MacBook and use only the external display, first off, we need to connect the power cable to the Mac. Then we need an external mouse and keyboard. I have a wired one here, and you can, of course, use a wired and connect to the dongle, or connect a wireless keyboard and mouse, or connect a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. With that connected, I can now close the Mac. And finally, I'll show you this optional change where you can change the timeout period for inactivity. We go to Apple, back to system settings, scroll down, this time to lock screen. And just here, third line down, turn display off on power adapter when inactive for, and you can change this to whichever time suits. Just bear in mind that this will affect your MacBook when you're off the external monitor, so yeah. Okay, that is basically it. Let me know in the comments if this has helped and give the video a thumbs up and enjoy your external display.